What's up guys, welcome back to this episode of Fishing with Tate. Um, I did film an intro to this video, however, the file got corrupted or something happened and now it's gone. So uh, that's why we're here, doing it the next day after this video happened. So it's been a rough, uh, rough year for me. I've got on numbers, but unfortunately the size has not been there. And in this video, that all changes. And it does so with the help of this guy right here. Bought a few packs of these. Gonna be trying them out. I'm a little bit late to the game on this. We're gonna go ahead and get into the video, but before we get started with that, I do want to encourage you to subscribe to my channel. 85% of my watch time has been from non-subscribers, so make sure that you hit that subscribe button and uh, even hit the little bell notification to stay up to date with my channel every time I post a new video. Never know where our minivan adventures might lead us. I was in a cornfield one time in a minivan. You want to make sure that you subscribe below to see where we take the minivan next. Better safe than sorry, right? Let's see if the old Ozark Trail frog still has its touch. Well, there's your answer. Who's our trail frog? Again, would be bass. My first topwater bass of the year, you guys. Here he goes. <laughs> Dustin hooks up with a micro bass. What'd you catch that on? Bring it here. <laughs> Little grasshopper. Well, that's how you catch the big ones, guys. <laughs> Ah, dang it. He missed it. All right, we may put this guy down for a minute and uh, see if we can get a shaky head fish on my new rod. It's actually on the Guggen baits. First time using a Guggen bait. This is the Slim Shake. See how this goes. Looks pretty good. Pick that frog back up in a minute. Yeah, I got one. Eh. Eh. He's not bad. He's coming toward me. Oh, don't jump. Teeny tiny, teeny tiny. Okay, we might have got him, might have got him loose. Oh, well, it's first bass on my, my new rod. Oh, ooh, decent. Oh, yep, decent. Ooh, just a little. Here you go. Oh. Grab him. There we go. Nice. Bring him up here. Watch your rod. Yeah, baby. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Oh my gosh. Barely hooked. Just fell out. What a beast. 
that's what we're here for baby that's what we're here for oh man hope this scale works battery's low there's my big fish i, I can't get a weight on him Oh, dang it. Yeah. Time, Look there, guys. Yeah. Look at that. Huh. <laughs> they get it over there, Benjamin so. Franklin fish with that thing, man. <laughs> May switch to a old chatterbait real quick. Give him something subsurface since he caught that one. Is that a good one? Did you catch it on the same thing? <laughs> Is that your biggest one you ever caught? Possibly Dustin's personal best. Ah, I got one. Boy, what you doing eating a bait like that? Huh? Ain't past your bedtime. Guys, we finally got a decent fish. A really nice fish. I obviously didn't get a weight on it because my scale, the batteries were going dead on it, and I don't know if I really trust those scales anyway, but I'm gonna guess about four pounds. Uh, you know, maybe four, four and a half. Mr. Slim Shake come through for us. Caught that big fish, and I only used one. I fished with it, caught multiple fish on it. I think I'm really a, you know, a big fan of these now. Not that this this bait will catch fish before any other bait will, because I, I honestly don't believe in that. Um, it's a very rare occasion when a fish will key in on one certain specific type of bait, maybe on a color, but not the bait. So I think I could have took a robo worm or something and probably caught the same fish. But, I mean, this brand, it's a cool brand. I followed the Guggen Squad since, you know, since they uh, pretty much first started. So that's kind of cool. And, you know, I like to support them. So uh, I would definitely check these out, but I'm gonna be doing some more videos with these baits. And obviously I haven't got to the Bandito Bug, Trench Hog and all that stuff but we will get to that in a future video. Maybe dedicate an entire video just to those baits. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Let me know in the comments below, how, how much do you think that fish actually weighed? And what would you like to see in the future? I know that I've not got any good lake videos, um, but I've done a whole lot of lake fishing, but there's not been much size, like I said. Look forward to more videos coming very soon. I'm trying to upload every week now. And I'll see you guys next time on another episode of Fishing With Tate.